Hi there, sign of Aquarius. This is Kim here to do your reading. It's going to be a next 48 hour reading. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope that all of you are doing really well. And let's get into it. I'm going to use the good tarot right here and pull a Celtic cross and we will clarify using the Hermetic tarot. So I might have to adjust this camera. I'm feeling like it might need to be back a little bit. Maybe that's good. Sorry, bear with me. All right. Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. What do you see coming in for Aquarius? Next 48 hour and uh, let's to get a Celtic cross for them. I do take reversals in this deck, even though I guess most people don't, but I do. Just FYI. That was a weird cut. <laughs> weird cut. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Earth, which is about patience. It's about timing, like divine timing. Um, but you mean majorly patience waiting on some kind of news oh wow okay yeah wow whoa the tower well yeah the tower right up there is the um crowning energy at the heart of the matter you have the death card change and transformation major change and transformation there's the four of water oh wow Wow, 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 wow. Oh, yay. Okay, two for the outcome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so it's clearly saying be ready to receive. Um, you're going to receive. You're going to receive really good news. There is a major transformation here. And it, and it feels like it's going in your favor. Just have patience. There has been seed sown already for whatever this is that's manifesting. And um, in the past, I have justice in the reverse. So this can be when things aren't feeling fair. You know, when, when something's not feeling fair or things aren't going your way at all. It can feel like the scales are are off balance and that life in general it can feel like sometimes it's just not fair right feels like that um, <clears throat> everything's always balancing out though so if you are looking for a new start on a relationship or a loving new beginning and you're waiting on kind of news possibly with somebody like possibly your own heart is even transforming uh, regarding around a certain person or situation or it's just that there's some kind of news that there's a complete ending so that there's a complete transformation or shift, right? What was this justice uh, in the past? What was that? Justice in the past. I have the four of wands in the reverse, which, uh, yeah. <laughs> Less than perfect. Um feeling like every goal you were setting or every goal that was coming up wasn't being met. Um, you could have made a really big move during this time. There's the five of cups of letting go of some past issues, especially ones that felt like they just weren't fair or balanced. Like a kind of like a why me um, feeling, honestly. So the eight of fire is, um, you're waiting on some kind of news. You're waiting on some kind of news to come in. When the news comes in, it speeds something up. Until then, there's this needing to have patience with, because whatever it is that you're waiting on, it was because there was something bigger being built. And um, the tower card here is, is like what is being built with this huge major change and transformation. And it's gonna offer you a loving new beginning, okay? With the page of water, this news um, that comes, it's really good news. It's either, it's like something gets upgraded, like a, um, a job, you, gets, you start to do something, you know, that's 
absolutely what you wanted you get the news for it or it's the perfect relationship and it's just starting and it's you know or there's going to be a, a, a one up in commitment to something i mean there's just something that's really 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 big will you accept the new beginning it is a question too both of these cards are scorpio energies crowning and um here the heart of the matter Whew. okay <laughs> what's the eight of wands in the reverse about what's the eight of wands in the reverse about the hermit magnus the voice of light <sighs> Um, okay, because this is a hermetic tarot, by the way, so you're going to get some kind of different, different sayings. Um, well, this is listening to that voice that's within you, and, you know, Aquarius, you are that, um, star energy, so it's kind of like the light, finding the light when it comes to you. Um, with the hermit, y you have self-reflection, you have going within, you have maybe even spending time to yourself or alone. It might be solitude. It might be needed solitude, you know, for um, research, reflection, reading, you know, could be something like that. Uh, this is getting to spend some time by yourself and major change and transformation with whatever this was that you were able to spend time with yourself about. Tell me more about the uh, death card change and transformation here. Three, six, nine might be important to you, those numbers. Um, okay, I'm getting the nine of cups in the reverse and the four swords in the reverse. So if there was ever a time where you were picking things that were not good for you, such as... Um, I don't know, choosing something such as like alcohol uh, over water <laughs> and a jog. I'm just saying, like, if you're comparing the two, you know, you're transforming the things that you choose that you can have to something better for yourself. And the things that you maybe didn't even want to think about, starting to think about and heal. So, it can also have to do with the transformation of who you give your energy and love to, and what you get back. Look at all these fours in your reading. Four, 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 four. These two fours right here in the future and the hope or fear is telling us that this, like, even if you feel like sometimes you're on the wrong path, you're absolutely where you need to be at this right exact moment. And you will be, too, in the future, no matter really what decision or what choices you make. Um, so maybe this news is news about yourself, about your own uh, inner reflection. Tell me about the emperor in reverse. Seven of swords, lord of unstable effort. Hmm. So this is how you're feeling. You're feeling, um, okay. You could be feeling that there's something that you need to stand more in your power about. But the Seven of Swords, there's almost like a need to, I don't know why, but there's a feeling of I've got to be deceptive about saying what I want why I don't know why but it's like coming across as how you're feeling is um, I have to hide how I really feel or what I really want what I really want to stand up for whatever the reason is I'm not really sure but that is also transforming so the ace of earth here coming in with a great opportunity for something financial um, stability. It's the stag. It's like take the lead here. Something's going to really be good. Tell me more about this opportunity coming. It's going to change everything. It's going to change everything. And there's the star. So the opportunity has to do with you knowing that you're the star and stepping into your own power here. Ooh, famous being in the spotlight. Um, it says 
the daughter of the firmament, firmament and the firmament and what, what it's like something that holds everything together right so you're you're the light you're the daughter of the light you're the light finding the light itself finding itself tell me about the tower energy which is in the good tarot i take it as like you're building something um and it's major change at the ace of cups beautiful page of water ace of cups very similar to me it says lord of the root of the powers of water so you got water energy again cancer scorpio pisces but you have many the the cup your cup is overrunneth <laughs> and there's many streams here right many streams many ways to become and to uh, be happy lord of earned success six of swords and the reason it says lord of earned success is not only is it your energy it's your card but it's you going from a very difficult time from maybe even where things were so off balance that it was leading us to choose things that weren't that great for us and going into a time where the decision to just be really good and loving and caring to yourself is natural you're going from difficult times to something that is not difficult and this might indicate actual travel for you or commute or something like that Hmm. loving new beginnings wow this could even represent a relationship coming into your life that will transform like everything <laughs> and provide really good opportunities here not only for you to shine with the star but um for some kind of financial well-being too tell me about the four of water future energy four of water um okay so that's got the ten of swords in the reverse the four of water has to do when we're thinking, you know, I just really don't like my surroundings and, and you're not happy with um, the fact that you, whatever transformation you're making is going to make you like not fit in with the situation that you're currently in or getting out of. And it might even be of, of like the influence around you, too. So this is a rebirth. It's a reinventing of yourself. And again, two cards that represent you going within withdrawing and and f figuring things out you know for yourself meditating and definitely um not to mention that there is with this big transformation and change there is a big gift from the universe here big gift ace of cups so the four of earth is um to me, it's like when we're holding on to things just for the sake of, I just want it to stay right in place. I don't want anything to change. I kind of want all of this to myself. Um, it can be like that, like that energy of not wanting anything to change ever. But it can also be a part of like getting comfortable at number four, whereas you've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've got different numbers to go to if you want oh and this is real love we'll see what is transformation transformation what is aiding this transformation to two of cups that's the real love and this is saying don't settle because there's real love out there yep queen of water in the reverse you gotta love yourself more feel worthy you are worthy open up to all of like the wonderful blessings that self-love self-care can get for you page of air Ooh, beautiful Getting your own information, um, you know, maybe even doing your own fact checking here when it comes to what you hear and what you believe is true or not. Um, it might be some kind of unhealthy spying too going on. I don't really know why, but there might be. We could be really worried about this tower, about the building of this tower here. We could be worried about it. So what's the information or research that um, Aquarius needs with the page of air? Well, the three of cups. You just need to know that a reunion is coming soon. A lord of abundance here, energy. Um, you'll be celebrating. You will be definitely getting together with others that make your cup overrunneth even more. 
And that's what I've got for you. This is a soulmate connection coming in. Lord of Pleasure. Six of Cups. Lord of Pleasure. And that's what I've got for you, Aquarius. If you need a private reading, just reach out to me. In the description box below is how you can get that. Your, your own thoughts and anxieties can keep us trapped or not moving, stuck in place. So just think of that um, when it comes to you and your anxiety and things like that. So sending you love and light. Like, share, subscribe, and come back for an update. Bye.